Hello everybody and welcome to this new Good Barber video. My name is Elena and today we are going to create together an application for online courses. In particular, we are going to see together how to take care of the overall design of our application, the navigation menu, the home, we are going to try to create together a piece of content for our app and we are going to explore together some of the main extensions that can be added to our application. Teaching through a mobile application is a solution that can fit so many different fields. You may think of teaching how to play a new music instrument or a new foreign language, how to do fitness, meditation or any other topic you may think of. Providing your online course on an application has actually also many other benefits. In fact, your users are going to have access to your content anywhere, anytime, from any device they decide to use. And in addition, an application gives you the opportunity of diversifying your learning solution. In fact, you can publish different pieces of content, for example, articles, podcasts, video, and also have some live sessions. If you already have an idea of what to put in your application, but you still need some inspiration, my advice is to always get started by the solutions of Good Barber. Here, in fact, you have a dedicated page to online courses. And here you can find many ideas and all the main features that can be added to your application and bring an added value. It's now time to start creating our application. So let's simply click on create an app. Let's add our email address and the password. And here, simply I'm going to enter the name of my application. I decided to create an application for meditation. So I'm going to call my application Breathe. And here I'm going to put the category of the application I decided to create, which is an application for online courses. And now let's simply click on create my app and magical stuff is in progress. And now let's discover together my new application. If this is the very first time that you're using Good Barber and you're not familiar at all with the back office, my advice is to always start from the Get Started menu. By clicking on each step of the Get Started menu, you're gonna better understand how to use the back office. Now, as I said at the very beginning, we're gonna start by taking care of the design of our app. So to change the overall design of our app, First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the theme library. Here I have a list of themes I can select and I can choose one of them according to the visual identity of my brand or the kind of application I'm simply creating. In this case, I'm creating an application for meditation. So I decide to apply this theme. And as you can see, in a very few seconds, my app is completely different. Colors are different, the font is different, so it best fits the purpose of my app. And I can, of course, customize the design of my app even more. For example, here on the right side, we will see a number of uh, menus for customization. For example, the element style, which is a pretty new function added within our back office that allows me to decide if I want that all the pictures of my app are square, rounded or round. In this case, I decide to put the rounded and also for the button style, I want a rounded style. So in this way, I'm going to customize even more uh, the look of my app. And as you can see now here, the pictures uh, change it and now they are rounded. So we just saw how to change uh, a bit more the overall design of our application. Let's move to the, to the next step, which is the customization of our navigation menu, which is the one you can see now here below. I can customize my menu by simply clicking on menu. And here, first of all, I can decide how I want my menu to be displayed by selecting one of the templates. At the moment, we have a top bar menu with the little icons here below but I prefer the swipe one so that my users, every time they want to go on the menu, they have to click here on the icon and here they have a list of sections within my application. Now here on the right side, I also have some other menus to customize my navigation menu even more. 
For example, here I find either of my application, which is basically the title of my application, the main navigation uh, menu. I can, for example, change the order if I'm already happy with the list which is provided within my demo app or I can decide to customize it even more. For example, here in this navigation menu, I decided not to have uh, the different kind of contents, podcast, video, or blog. I prefer to have uh, the topic. So I decided to do more of a structural change. So I'm gonna go back and here I have a detail of my navigation menu. It is possible to modify the design, the settings, to hide this section, to completely delete it. I can add new sections from here. In this case, let's simply modify uh, the title of the section and then step by step, I can edit also what there is inside this section. So let's modify it by clicking on settings. And instead of podcasts, I want to add here my first topic, which is finding calm. So find calm is the new title of the first topic. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back here in the menu. And as you can see, the find calm is there. Then I'm going to do the same with the video section. I prefer to call it focus. So let's put find focus. And let's save it. And here going back, as you can see, the find focus section is there. And then let's add a new section. I want a new menu section. It's going to be right below the main menu and I want it to be for kids. So this is going to be the section dedicated to meditation for children. I'm going to add it. And now, as you can see, it is here below. I don't want it to be down here in the menu. I want it to be actually just below the find focus. So I'm going to just drag and drop it. I'm going to put it right here. So now in my menu, I can see it in real time. I have the home, the find calm, find focus and the section for kids. And I want to delete the blog and delete the calendar. I can directly delete or hide them. So by hiding them, they are going to disappear from the menu and I'm going to find it here. As you can see, it's hidden. And if I want, I can make it visible again. I'm going to do the same for the calendar so that the calendar doesn't appear here. So here we go with our brand new navigation menu. Now, if I want to add even something more, I can add some sections within the for kids section. For example, I want a blog section, which is going to be called mindfulness. And uh, I'm going to add it. And I also want to add another section, which is a podcast section, which is going to be called sleep well. So here I can put some music uh, for children and uh, some articles for parents to understand the importance of uh, mindfulness for children. So now that I'm pretty happy with the navigation menu that I created, uh, I want to take care of the home. The home is this part of the application. And I kind of like the fact that it is divided by type of content. So I'm going to keep it as it is, but I just want to make some changes in the design of the home. So I go back here in the menu and I'm going to click on home. And here I can find all the different widgets that correspond to the type of content here in the home. So what I'm going to do, for example, for the videos, I don't want my videos to be displayed in this way. So I'm going to change uh, the template. So here, for example, I prefer the classic template. As you can see, it immediately changes here, but I want the header to be displayed. And in this case, the demo app call it this section classes. Actually, I want to call all the different videos techniques. So this is the title I'm going to give. And here the title just change it. And let's say that I also want to change the font. I don't like the font here. So I'm going to go for this one. And I can, of course, also change the size of the font. 
and I can uh, then replicate it for all the other different sections of my home. So I'm going to keep this one. I can change also the colors if I want. I want to keep this one. So I go back to the home. The next one is the block. Uh, and the back office is informing me that this widget is deactivated because I made invisible the block section in the navigation menu. So the system informs me. I want to go uh, on with the podcast. Let's edit this section, which is here. The podcast section uh, is now using a split template. I actually prefer uh, the banner visual in this case. And here, so my user can see all the different um, podcasts which are available. And I don't want to call them podcasts. I prefer to call this section guided meditation. And uh, I'm going to change also in this case the font. So I'm going to use always the same. And I want it to be the same size of the previous one, which was uh, 39 pixels. So as you can see, uh, all changes are already here. And uh, I can go back now in the different widgets. And uh, for example, I want uh, to make some changes in the social link, which are here. Let's edit the social links. I have Facebook. I can put here the link of my Facebook page. I have Twitter. Here there is YouTube, but there is the wrong icon. So let me check and let me choose a YouTube uh, icon. This one is perfect. So I'm going to keep this one. And I also have Instagram. So let me add my Instagram here. And this one is perfect. So this is the set of icons I choose uh, for all my uh, social media. So now that I'm happy with the home of my application, I can move on with the content. And here by clicking on content, I can add a new piece of content and I can also see the content list. So by clicking on content list, here is the list of all the pieces of content. I can filter them by section or also by kind of content. For example, here I want to see all the articles which are now within my application and here is the list. And I can, of course, delete them. Uh, I can hide them. I can create new articles. So let's create one together. As you can see in my article, I can put a title, the body of my article, as well as other elements, for example, photos, videos, quotes, etc. In this case, I'm going to write an article on children and meditation and here I'm going to add the body of my article and I can of course fix the text and I can add picture. In this case I do already have a picture. If I don't have a picture I can choose one from the library. So let's browse our picture, let's open it and I can save it as a draft. Now I want uh, this article to be present both in the blog and in the mindfulness section. So I can publish it. I can preview it, of course. So here is how my article is going to be displayed. And going back to the application. Now let's see if it appears in the mindfulness. So let's go back to the sections of my app and here is the mindfulness blog section. So by clicking on for kids and mindfulness, I'm able to find the article I just wrote. And in the description of this video, I'm also going to add the links to the other video tutorials on how to add other kinds of uh, content. So we check together how to change the design of the application, how to build a navigation menu, and how to take care of the home. We also added a new piece of content, a new article. Let's explore the last part of this video, the extensions that can be added to your app in order to bring an added value. All the extensions in the extension store can be filtered here. So since we are creating an application for online courses, let's filter all the main features that can be added to your application. So among the extensions I could decide to install, there is, for example, the in-app purchase subscriptions. 
I may decide to install this extension within my app if I want to monetize my application by selling content. Basically, I could decide to have some sections of my app completely free and available to anybody and some sections were private, who can be only accessible by users who subscribe to my app. Another extension I may think of activating is the scheduled push uh, that allows me to send out a push notification, for example, every time that a new piece of content is published, every time that a new podcast or a new article is published within my app. Or maybe I decide to have some live sessions. I may think of having uh, some group meditation live uh, with live audio or maybe also with video if I have to explain, for example, some meditation techniques. So uh, these are also some of the extensions that can be added and really they're going to bring some added value to your online course application. So I really hope that this video has been useful for you, that now it's going to be way easier for you to start creating your own application uh, for online courses. If you have questions, do not hesitate to drop a comment under this video and do not forget to also subscribe to our channel, to our YouTube channel in order to receive a notification every time that a new video is released. I really hope to see you again soon. Bye!